Hey, what's up everybody? It's Wild Leon. I'm going to talk to you guys about using the latrine at Air Force BMT. The first thing you need to know is that it's not called a bathroom, it's not called a restroom, it's not called anything else but a latrine. Like, that's the only thing you will ever reference it to. If you call it anything else, you'll be chewed out on the spot. It's not going to be a good day for you, so learn it now, get used to it. It's called a latrine. Once you graduate BMT, nobody else calls it a latrine. Like, it's just a BMT thing. If you call it a latrine, active duty, people are going to look at you like you're a fresh boot, like you're fresh out of boot camp and they're just like they're just gonna like shake their heads at you. It's just like, I'm sorry, man. Second thing you need to know is how you go to the latrine. Like, so if you ever need to use the latrine, you'll just stand up, get the training next to you, and you'll go. You never have to ask for permission. The only time you don't need a wingman is if you're inside the dorms or if it's nighttime and you're asleep. If you're asleep, then you just get up, you put your shower shoes on, you use the latrine, you come back and you go back to sleep. If you're inside your dorms and it's daytime, walk over to the latrine, use the latrine, and walk back and continue whatever you're doing. This is a uh, interesting tip that most people, I bet like nobody knows when they go into BMT, but when you go to Beast, during Beast Week is the only time when you're gonna have to actually walk it's like a certain amount of distance to the latrine. But Beast Week is like a whole process you have to go through. If it's nighttime, you'll have to wake up, you'll have to get one of your EC monitors, you'll have to out process through the uh, uh, CQ, you'll have to go through the ECP, these are a bunch of acronyms. You'll learn them once you go to BMT. It's just a bunch of different checkpoints. Then you'll have to go all the way down, walk down the hill, all the way down to your latrine. Once you get to your latrine, go do your business, get back with your EC monitor. You'll come back all the way up to the hill. You'll go through the ECP, do your whole security checkpoint, go back down to CQ. There's a whole process there. You got to sign back in. Once you're in process back through CQ and you're done with that, then you come back to your tent, your EC monitor stands back on duty, and then you go back to sleep. So it's a whole process just to use the latrine at night. So make sure you use the latrine before you go to sleep. During the daytime at Beast, you don't have to go through all that. You just walk out, you go with the uh, training to the latrine, you do your business, you come back through. Another important tip is that whenever you're using the latrine, you always have to leave the seat up. So if you're in your dorm rooms and you're using the latrine and you get inspected or whatever, um, if they inspect your latrines, all the seats have to be up. Obviously, everything has to be clean and everything. But the important thing is that all the seats have to be up. If they aren't up, then you're going to get demerits and it might be a fail. It's pretty simple. Like, you just get up, you use the latrine, you come back, you sit back down, and you're good to go. Just know that you're going to be drinking a heck of a lot of water. It's going to be one half to a three-fourths canteen, not to exceed 12 canteens in a single day. One canteen is 30 ounces. It's like this. It straps onto your web belt. So you're going to be drinking a lot of water, and you're going to be... A fountain like it's crazy but that's pretty much it if you guys have any more questions leave them down in the comment box below make sure you like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time peace